Fulrene Chemistry, Wikipedia Audio Fulrene Chemistry is a field of organic chemistry devoted to the chemical properties of fullerenes. Research in this field is driven by the need to functionalize fullerenes and tune their properties. For example, fulrene is notoriously insoluble and adding a suitable group can enhance solubility. By adding a polymerizable group, a fulrene polymer can be obtained. Functionalized fullerenes are divided into two classes, exohedral fullerenes with substituents outside the cage and endohedral fullerenes with trapped molecules inside the cage. This article covers the chemistry of buckyballs, while the chemistry of carbon nanotubes is covered in carbon nanotube chemistry. Fulrene or C60 is soccer ball shaped or IH with 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons. According to Euler's theorem these 12 pentagons are required for closure of the carbon network consisting of N hexagons and C60 is the first stable fulrene because it is the smallest possible to obey this rule. In this structure none of the pentagons make contact with each other. Both C60 and its relative C70 obey this so-called isolated pentagon rule. The next homologue C84 has 24 IPR isomers of which several are isolated and another 51,568 non-IPR isomers. Non-IPR fullerenes have thus far only been isolated as endohedral fullerenes such as TB3N at C84 with two fused pentagons at the apex of an egg-shaped cage or as fullerenes with exohedral stabilization such as C50Cl10 and reportedly C60H8. Lower fullerenes do not obey isolated pentagon rule. Chemical Properties of Fullerenes Because of the molecule's spherical shape the carbon atoms are highly pyramidalized, which has far-reaching consequences for reactivity. It is estimated that strain energy constitutes 80% of the heat of formation. The conjugated carbon atoms respond to deviation from planarity by orbital rehybridization of the sp superscript 2 orbitals and π orbitals to a sp 2.27 orbital with a gain in p character. The p lobes extend further outside the surface than they do into the interior of the sphere and this is one of the reasons a fulrene is electronegative. The other reason is that the empty low-lying pi asterisk orbitals also have a high s character. The double bonds in fulrene are not all the same. Two groups can be identified. 30 so-called double bonds connect two hexagons and 60 bonds connect a hexagon and a pentagon. Of the two the bonds are shorter with more double bond character and therefore a hexagon is often represented as a cyclohexatriene and a pentagon as a pentaline or rhodialene. In other words, although the carbon atoms in fulrene are all conjugated the superstructure is not a super aromatic compound. The X-ray diffraction bond length values are 139.1 pm for the bond and 145.5 pm for the bond. C60 fulrene reacts with tungsten hexacarbonyl W6 to the W5 complex in a hexane solution in direct sunlight. C60 fulrene has 60 pi electrons but a closed shell configuration requires 72 electrons. The fulrene is able to acquire the missing electrons by reaction with potassium to form first the K, 6 C6, 60 salt and then the K, 12 C12. 60 In this compound the bond length alternation observed in the parent molecule has vanished. Fullerenes tend to react as electrophiles. An additional driving force is relief of strain when double bonds become saturated. Key in this type of reaction is the level of functionalization i.e. monoaddition or multiple additions and in case of multiple additions their topological relationships. 
In conformity with IUPAC rules, the terms methanofullerene are used to indicate the ring closed fulrene derivatives, and fulleroid to ring open structures. Fullerenes react as electrophiles with a host of nucleophiles and nucleophilic additions. The intermediary formed carb anion is captured by another electrophile. Examples of nucleophiles are Grignard reagents and organolithium reagents. For example, the reaction of C60 with methyl magnesium chloride stops quantitatively at the pentaadduct with the methyl groups centered around a cyclopentadienyl anion which is subsequently protonate. Another nucleophilic reaction is the Bingel reaction. Fulrene reacts with chlorobenzene and aluminium chloride in a friedel crafts alkylation type reaction. In this hydroorylation the reaction product is the 1,2 addition adduct. The bonds of fullerenes react as dienes or dienophiles in cycloadditions for instance Diels-Alder reactions. Four-membered rings can be obtained by cycloadditions for instance with benzene. An example of a 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition to a five-membered ring is the Prato reaction. Fullerenes are easily hydrogenated by several methods. Examples of hydrofullerenes are C60H18 and C60H36. However, completely hydrogenated C60H60 is only hypothetical because of large strain. Highly hydrogenated fullerenes are not stable, as prolonged hydrogenation of fullerenes by direct reaction with hydrogen gas at high temperature conditions results in cage fragmentation. At the final reaction stage this causes collapse of cage structure with formation of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Although more difficult than reduction, Oxidation of fulrene is possible for instance with oxygen and osmium tetraoxide. Fullerenes can be hydroxylated to fullerenols or fullerols. Water solubility depends on the total number of hydroxyl groups that can be attached. One method is fulrene reaction in diluted sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate to C6015. Another method is reaction in diluted sodium hydroxide catalyzed by TBAH adding 24 to 26 hydroxyl groups. Hydroxylation has also been reported using solvent-free NaOH slash hydrogen peroxide. C68 was prepared using a multi-step procedure starting from a mixed peroxide full Rene. The maximum number of hydroxyl groups that can be attached stands at 3640. Fulrene reactions Fullerenes react in electrophilic additions as well. The reaction with bromine can add up to 24 bromine atoms to the sphere. The record holder for fluorine addition is C60F48. According to in silico predictions the as yet elusive C60F60 may have some of the fluorine atoms in endo positions and may resemble a tube more than it does a sphere. Protocols have been investigated for removing substituents via retroadditions after they have served their purpose. Examples are the retrobingal reaction and the retroproto reaction. Fullerenes react with carbenes to methanofullerenes. The reaction of fullerene with dichlorocarben was first reported in 1993. A single addition takes place along a bond. Fullerenes can be considered radical scavengers. With a simple hydrocarbon radical such as the T-butyl radical obtained by thermolysis or photolysis from a suitable precursor the TBUC60 radical is formed that can be studied. The unpaired electron does not delocalize over the entire sphere but takes up positions in the vicinity of the T-bulletin substituent. Fulrene is a ligand in organometallic chemistry. The double bond is electron deficient and usually forms metallic bonds with eta equals 2 hapticity. 
Bonding modes such as eta equals 5 or eta equals 6 can be induced by modification of the coordination sphere. A part of full Rene research is devoted to so-called open cage full errands whereby one or more bonds are removed chemically exposing an orifice. In this way it is possible to insert into it small molecules such as hydrogen, helium, or lithium. The first such open cage full Rene was reported in 1995. In endohedral hydrogen full errands the opening, hydrogen insertion, and closing back up has already been demonstrated. In heterofullerenes at least one carbon atom is replaced by another element. Based on spectroscopy, substitutions have been reported with boron, nitrogen, oxygen, arsenic, germanium, phosphorus, silicon, iron, copper, nickel, rhodium, and iridium. Reports on isolated heterofullerenes are limited to those based on nitrogen and oxygen. Nucleophilic addition Pericyclic reactions the C60 Fulrene dimerizes in a formal cycloaddition to a C120 Bucky dumbbell in the solid state by mechanochemistry with potassium cyanide as a catalyst. The trimer has also been reported using 4-aminopyridine as catalyst and observed with scanning tunneling microscopy as a monolayer. Hydrogenation Oxidation Hydroxylation Electrophilic addition Retroadditions Although the procedure for the synthesis of the C60, Fulrene is well established a 2002 study described an organic synthesis of the compound starting from simple organic compounds. In the final step a large polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon consisting of 13 hexagons and 3 pentagons was submitted to flash vacuum pyrolysis at 1100 degrees Celsius and 0.01 Tor. The three carbon chlorine bonds served as free radical incubators and the ball was stitched up in a no doubt complex series of radical reactions. The chemical yield was low. 0.1 to 1 percent. A small percentage of full errands is formed in any process which involves burning of hydrocarbons, e.g. in candle burning. The yield through a combustion method is often above 1 percent. The method proposed above does not provide any advantage for synthesis of full errands compared to the usual combustion method, and therefore, the organic synthesis of full errands remains a challenge for chemistry. A similar exercise aimed at construction of a C78 cage in 2008 did not result in a sufficient yield but at least the introduction of stone whales defects could be ruled out. C60 synthesis through a fluorinated fulrene precursor was reported in 2013. Carbon additions Fulrene purification is the process of obtaining a fulrene compound free of contamination. In fulrene production mixtures of C60, C70, and higher homologs are always formed. Fulrene purification is key to fulrene science and determines fulrene prices and the success of practical applications of fullerens. The first available purification method for C60 Fulrene was by HPLC from which small amounts could be generated at large expense. A practical laboratory scale method for purification of soot enriched in C60 and C70 starts with extraction in toluene followed by filtration with a paper filter. The solvent is evaporated and the residue redis solved in toluene and subjected to column chromatography. C60 elutes first with a purple color and C70 is next displaying a reddish-brown color. In nanotube processing the established purification method for removing amorphous carbon and metals is by competitive oxidation. 
it is assumed that this oxidation creates oxygen-containing groups on the nanotube surface which electrostatically stabilize them in water and which can later be utilized in chemical functionalization. One report reveals that the oxygen-containing groups in actuality combine with carbon contaminations absorbed to the nanotube wall that can be removed by a simple base wash. Cleaned nanotubes are reported to have reduced D-G ratio indicative of less functionalization, and the absence of oxygen is also apparent from IR spectroscopy and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. A recent kilogram scale Fulrene purification strategy was demonstrated by Nagata ETL. In this method C60 was separated from a mixture of C60, C70, and higher Fulrene compounds by first adding the amidine compound DBU to a solution of the mixture in 1,2,3 trimethylbenzene. DBU as it turns out only reacts to C70 full irons and higher which reaction products separate out and can be removed by filtration. C60 full irons do not have any affinity for DBU and are subsequently isolated. Other diamine compounds like DABCO do not share this selectivity. C60 but not C70 forms a 1,2 inclusion compound with cyclodextrin. A separation method for both full irons based on this principle is made possible by anchoring cyclodextrin to colloidal gold particles through a sulfur-sulfur bridge. The O-CD compound is very stable and soluble in water and selectively extracts C60 from the insoluble mixture after refluxing for several days. The C70 Fulrene component is then removed by simple filtration. C60 is driven out from the O-CD compound by adding adamantyl which has a higher affinity for the cyclodextrin cavity. O-CD is completely recycled when adamantyl in turn is driven out by adding ethanol and ethanol removed by evaporation, 50 mg of O-CD captures 5 mg of C60 Fulrene. Radical additions Fulerans as ligands Variants Open cage fulerans Heterofullerenes Fulrene dimers Synthesis Multi-step Fulrene synthesis Purification Experimental purification strategies